safe now. I'm not so sure. I think the nurse saw us when we left. If she had, she would have called to us. Don't worry, nobody saw us. Well, we, we better be going anyway. It'll, it'll be soon that they'll discover we're not there. I know, but let's just catch our second wind. How far away is Collinwood? It's only a few miles, but we're not going there. What do you mean? It would be ridiculous to go there. It's just as dangerous as Winkle. The only chance that we have of staying alive is to get as far away from Collinwood and Wincliffe as we possibly can. Do you think that Quentin is a reincarnation of the Quentin Collins that lived in 1840? Dr. Hoffman, how could I possibly know that? Because you were in love with the Quentin Collins that lived in 1840, and you're in love with this Quentin. Are they similar? Well, the first Quentin was more of an aggressive man, a will of iron. He led a very troubled life, and it was never very easy to get to know him. But the Quentin that I know now is a gentler man. He's easier to know. <laughs> And to love. I'm very tired, Dr. Hoffman. I'd like to get some rest. I'd like you to stay here until Stokes comes. Well, did you talk to Spokes? No, I talked to his housekeeper. Quentin, what's wrong? It seems as if Professor Stokes took a plane to Europe early this morning. Why would he go to Europe without telling me? There must be some sane explanation. I guess we'll have to wait until we hear from him. If we do. Time is running out. Soon there will be a murder, and then, then Rose Cottage will be destroyed. And then the disaster at Cullen. Julia, if there is a way out of all of this, I sure don't know what it is. enough tonight. We need a place to rest. But why here? Because no one will find us here. I'm scared, Tad. There's nothing to be afraid of as long as we're together. We're too close to Collinsport. Somebody might see us and recognize us. Follow me. Oh. 
awful. It looks like he's been attacked by an animal. He has two holes in his neck. His face is all white, like the blood was drained right out of him. Dad, the same thing happened back in 1840. Do you remember? And no one could find out what caused it. Do you remember? Yes. Yes, I remember. I remember. <laughs> Daphne, I've been trying to identify something, an object. I wonder if you would help me. And this is it. This medallion. Look at it. Have you ever seen anything like it before? No, I don't think I have. Why? Well, look at it more closely. It's very old. I thought it might be familiar to you. Keep looking at it. I'm certain I've never seen it. Look at it more closely. See the way the light gives out. It's really very beautiful. Concentrate on the light. Keep looking deeper and deeper. See if you can find the center of the light. Deeper and deeper. You found the center of the light? Yes. Yes, I found it. Good. Then you will answer all my questions. Yes. Yes, I will answer. Now concentrate on the events that are destined to take place before the disaster at Collingwood. First, there will be a murder. Do you know who is destined to be murdered? Destined to be murdered? Do you know who the person is? Yes. Yes, I know who it is. What is the name of the person? Can you tell me? Who is the murderer? Tell me. Who is it? The person who'll be murdered. The person who'll be murdered is me. You? I, I, I don't understand. Do you know, do you know how it'll happen and, and when? The green flag. The green flag will be waved in the window three times. Three times at the window. The window? The window of the tower room. I saw the green flag there when, when I followed David. But when, when will this happen? I... I don't know. I don't know exactly when. Do you know if it'll happen before or after the destruction of Rose Cottage? First, Rose Cottage. And then, the murder. And then there may be time to save you. Do you know when Rose Cottage will be destroyed? The destruction of Rose Cottage will be tonight. Daphne, hoping to find out when the final two events will happen. Was she able to tell you? Oh, I learned a great deal more than I expected. There is some hope, Barnabas. Daphne is the one who is to be murdered. And the destruction of Rose Cottage will be tonight. Are 
you sure there couldn't have been some mistake? Oh, positive. The hypnosis worked perfectly. She told me that the murder would not happen until after the destruction of Rose Cottage. And she told you that the Rose Cottage would be destroyed tonight? Yes. Gerard. Well, she didn't say, but it has to be. Shirley, we need to get help. But who can help us? Possibly Sebastian. Now, you stay here with Maggie. I'll be back as soon as I can. Julia? Julia? How long have you been here? Where's Barnabas? We just left a moment ago, but he'll be back. How do you feel? I feel a little better, I think. I had a dream. I was dreaming about the children. They were terribly frightened because something terrible had happened to them. Something has happened to the children, Maggie. Peggy, don't you remember? Difficult to remember. The children have been possessed. Yes, I know. We've got to help them, Julia. I don't want anything to happen to them. Sebastian, I'm going to warn you one more time. Don't go to Collinwood. Well, I don't think I have to tell you the answer to that. Sebastian, Sebastian, listen to me. I want you to come back here. I promise you I'll be here when you get back and you... Roxanne. Mr. Collins, what do you want? To see Sebastian. Is he in? No, he isn't. Do you know when he'll be back? I don't even know where he is, Mr. Collins. I see. Roxanne, you seem to be disturbed about something. If you'd care to talk about it, if I could be of any help. Mr. Collins, this is something I don't care to talk about. And nobody, including you, can do anything to help me. Oh, very well. But you might tell Sebastian that I want to see him. I need his help. I'll be at Cumberland Road at Rose Cottage, just outside of Collinsport. I'll deliver your message, Mr. Collins. But I think it's only fair to warn you. Sebastian will never be able to help you. Never! Why do you say that? Sebastian is a clair clairvoyant. I don't see any reason why he wouldn't help me. And I'll tell you the reason. Sebastian, uh, Sebastian is, is frightened of his powers. He always has been. And he'll never be able to use them again. You seem very certain of that. More certain than I've been of anything. Now, will there be anything else, Mr. Collins? Has Sebastian done anything to hurt you? Oh, what a strange man you are. You barely know me, and yet, yet you have this compulsion to help me. Why? I don't know. Perhaps it's, perhaps it's because of, of the other Roxanne, the one I've told you about, the one you resemble so. Oh, yes. Yes, the one you met in another time. But I think there may be still another explanation. What do you mean? Well, that Roxanne and I are, are obviously different people. And yet, from the very first time I met you, I had the strange feeling that there was a bond between us. I feel it now. I can't define it. I don't even understand it. Perhaps in time, we will both know what it is. At least I hope so. Yes. Yes, I hope so, too. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry I behaved so badly when you first came in. I look forward to seeing you again, Barnabas.
Maggie, please, please lie back and rest. I know. I keep thinking about the children and that strange phone call from Wincliffe. Uh, the children will be all right. I, I, I promise you they will. The police are out searching the woods now. Sebastian wasn't there, but I, I left word. Barnabas, Barnabas, while you were gone, I had a phone call from Wincliffe. The children disappeared at four o'clock this afternoon. Have you notified the police? Yes, of course, but I haven't heard anything yet. The frightening thing is that they disappeared just at the same night that Rose Cottage is to be destroyed. You don't think they'd go there? I don't know, but I'd better go there right now. Well, I'll go with you. No, 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 you stay here with Maggie. Now, don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Perhaps Sebastian will be there to meet me. What's that all about? About the children? Why would they go to Rose Cottage? I, I can't explain now, Mag Maggie. But 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 everything will be all right. <laughs> Maggie, Maggie, listen to me. Maggie, you must you must not listen to that. You must you must resist the urge to respond, Maggie. I feel so helpless. here before. Why is it here now? <laughs> 